Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to use a curved image. You don't explicitly have a curved image by default or anything like this, it's a regular image that you curve. And if you have a look from the previous tutorial, we've got this image right here. It's a very square looking image and when it's so big, it just, it almost doesn't, I want to say it doesn't look right, but because you're so close to it, if it was curved, it would just feel more natural. You, you understand what I mean if you have a VR headset. And to do that, fortunately, it's very easy. Make sure you've loaded the asset. You can use it directly within the curved image tag, but that is not recommended at all. So what you want to do, let's just get rid of this for now. Let's just redo it. So you want to do A-curved image. And in here, I mean, for the attributes, I'm going to provide a source, which will be hash my dash image. And then there'll be a height value, which will be 16. There will be a width value. Oh, no, sorry. Height should be 15. The, we're not going to provide the width, it's going to be radius equals 5.7. These are values that you will have to adjust theta length for different types of images, different sized images. But check them out and just experiment. That is always the best way to learn. So now we're going to provide a rotation of 0. 150 and 0. Wait till you see what this looks like. Scale it by 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Obviously, I've already calculated these values, but like I said, just experiment. That's the best way to understand and that's the best way to know what to do with your images and your assets. So position equals 0, 2, and 5. Save that. Refresh. And here we go. We have a curved image. You don't have to make it this curved, but I've made it curved all the way around. And this just looks phenomenal. If you were to have a VR headset on, this would just look absolutely amazing. And yeah, that is it really for curved images, but it does simply look amazing. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description, plus there'll be a link in the description to the source code from every video in this series. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave us a comment. But if you didn't like the video, we welcome your comments as well. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.